Welcome viewers, this is Dex of the Black Pants Legion. Now this is an interview. I've spoken with admins of Space Station 13 before and they are notoriously antisocial types who generally don't like to talk with or at people for prolonged periods of time as they are judge, jury, and executioner on a server and can't be seen demonstrating favoritism, at least in theory. Anyways, here's how this works. I'm putting out an open call to any and all active Space Station 13 admins on any public listed servers. This call is here, so answer it. If you're interested in answering or participating in an interview about Space Station 13, its history, and your server, please respond. See the description below for an email contact. I'll try to get to you and we can set something up. That being said, this is an interview with a Space Station 13 admin. The questions are largely freeform, and the discussion does not reflect the, exactly the policy of the server, unless stated otherwise by the person I'm interviewing. The reason I do this is I want to encourage an admin to be frank, honest, and open about their experiences without worrying that they're shitting on their server, or to prevent them from being yelled at, at for representing the server community in a bad way. This is a point of view and not, I repeat, not an absolute definition of doctrine on said server. That being said, I welcome our interviewee. Please, internet person, tell me your name you wish to go by, your server, and your admin rank. Uh, hello there. I go by the name of KMC2000 from Yog Station. I hold a senior admin rank. All right. So tell us about your server, its history, and what makes it unique. Well, it's been around for quite a while in one form or another. Um, it started off as, I think... Apocalyptic Station, hosted by someone named Hitman. I wasn't there back then, but some things happened, a split happened, and uh, eventually got to Yog Station. Um, we were a low to medium RP SS13 station on a TG build. All right. Why should a player play on your station? What makes it interesting? Well, one of our key, you know, points that attract people is our murder bone rule. So. You can't really just go on a murdering spree without having a really good reason to do so, but <clears throat> we do allow for creativity. So if you do have a good reason, you can go and murder burn and not worry about getting banned like on some other servers. But you can't, you know, you won't be going in and expecting to just die instantly. All right, and what is the most common thing that new players ask about on your station? Um, well, it's just a lot of it is code-related questions, just how to do, you know, some feature we've added, like, uh, specifically, things about Lava Land were quite common, um, just things about the crafting system, how to do certain jobs, uh, like toxins in particular, that's quite a good one. Now, why are you an admin on said server? What makes you volunteer your time on Yogs? Well, I, um, started admining about, uh, just over a year ago. Um, I don't... I decided to put my time in it because, you know, I thought we could use some extra admins in the time zone that I was on in because there were, you know, there were some, but it wasn't fully admin all the time. So that's what really got me into it. I just wanted to help the community stay, you know, clean, keep the shedders up. So what is the hardest part about being an admin on Yogs? I think it's those really convoluted tickets where people don't quite know the rules and then try to loophole their way in as though they knew the rules. So if you have like an AI who's gotten into a really complicated situation, keeps trying to justify why what they're doing is right, even though it's not really right according to our rules. So what do you think are the greatest problems with Space Station 13 today, or at least on Yogg Station? As a game, I think it's the UI. It is really hard to get into. The graphics look really acidic when you first start. I uh, showed it to a few friends and they instantly said no to it. But on Yogg Station in particular, I mean, it's going quite well, but our role play needs to be addressed because we've got some uh, things going on with that. People are kind of reluctant to at some points. It's mainly the regulars that do all the role playing, but we are a low RP station, well, low to mid RP station rather. So it's it's not necessary, but it is quite nice to have that. So some stations have an issue with this, some don't, but how do you combat special snowflakes when they rise up? We don't really get that many special snowflakes, but we're not massively like. As long as it's within reason, you know, we don't like, we don't allow massive long descriptions like on some of the med RP servers, you know, when you look at a character and it has that full description. But for example, we do have this um, mime called Mime Kitty, who's quite popular, and they've become kind of an icon. So, you know, we, if we've got a player that's known as being good, we, we tend to reward that a lot. But we don't really have the special snowflakes, I and mean, we don't have the means for people to become them, really. All right. So what is your opinion on people who play on your server and record? What about those who stream? 
streaming, as many other people have said, I'm not, I'm fine with it as long as it's got a delay. But otherwise, obviously, you know, if they're a new cop or something and you don't know it's new cops, you can check their stream and see, oh, it's that round type and know if they're going stealth ops, which no one ever does, obviously. But say they are, you know, they can see the names of the stealth ops, get loads of meta information just by looking at someone's stream. As for recording, you know, I think that's great. Really make a server known, have a look at their features out, having to log on, and look at the rules and risk getting banned. So what's your opinion on metacoms and meta friends? I'm pretty against it, honestly. Um, it's just, it's, it's not how the game is meant to be played. I'm, I'm personally, I'm fine with people beforehand, like agreeing to play on a server, you know, just being on the server together and have fun like that. But communicating in the round, giving away round stuff, you know, it's just not on. Meta friending is just, uh, it, it's really, a, it's not very good for the other people. Because if you have like a, say a traitor and then another traitor who just team up and then they're constantly in communication with each other you know someone could go down over the other end of the station and then their friend could come pick them up which is just a ridiculous advantage yeah what do you think is really key to making a good admin good i think a good admin is someone who knows when to stop like if you're taking something too far if like if you've not got a straight reason to get rid of someone and remove them from the server you should just stop and drop it like have the guts to do that rather than just looking for reasons to ban them like i, I hate that when people really interrogate them just to try and get something incriminating mm -hmm. and what makes a bad admin bad a bad admin is somebody who just you know they completely abuse their position and not even in a good way for the players like I, I run quite a few events, but say a bad admin would just make an impromptu event with no warning, not making an event because you know it would be fun for the players, just making it so they can be a wizard and run around and rampage and have a bunch of fun for themselves and screw over everyone else. On the nature of balance between shit curity and the grey tide, what's your opinion on how to maintain said balance? I think as long as you've got experienced people playing security who know what they're doing, you know, if you can just guide them, say when they're not doing the right procedure, which can be quite hard because you need an admin babysitting them, but once you get a good established security player pool, I think it can just keep the, the grey tide down quite a bit. But obviously you're going to have these really experienced players who've been playing for years and know all the tricks who just uh, go around as assistants and just wreak havoc. I mean, as for them, you know, you just got to keep your eye out, just move around the station, look at what they're doing, say, stop, you know, keep it under control. In your opinion, at least from the perspective of your station and for the purpose of gameplay, what is the best AI law set? The best AI law set, I mean, despite all its flaws, I really do like Asimov, the Asimov law set. So it, it's it's pretty solid, but it does allow for some creativity, you know. It's not complete. It's not completely watertight. You know, you can say if a clown wants to get on a bridge, you can say no. But if the clown has a really good reason for being on the bridge, then you can let him in. And it, it's quite good because when you add laws onto it, it's a lot easier to work around. You know, instead of having corporate or something where you have to think of different contexts and things, you just say this person is human, this person isn't human, and now I can interpret that any way they want. So what is the best trader you've ever seen as an admin? The best trader? Well, on your station specifically or another server? Any, just from the point of view of an admin, because you are the eyes of God. Right. Um, I think I've seen quite a good few traders in my times, but there's uh, someone who goes by the name of, of Beckons, who plays, or at least played before he uh, got banned, an incredible trader. He was someone you could kind of work with. I mean, a lot of people, he's a very controversial player because a lot of people thought, you know, he'd just go around and rampage. But for example, I've had like occasions when I've given him something role play related to do and he's done that instead of just murder burning. All right. And what is the worst Antag you've ever seen? <laughs> the worst Antag? I had a new cop once who asked how to breathe in the server. That's a quote. How to um, breathe? How to breathe in the server. Okay. Wow. I don't think you get much worse than that. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> what is your favorite round you've witnessed of Space Station 13 so far, and why? 
so far. Um, I saw a round where there was this, okay, so a traitor had taken control of the station, basically. He got himself captain, and then suddenly he tried to start converting the crew into syndicates, and that gave, like, a really good role play hook kind of thing to go on. So then I worked with the round and made it into Syndicate versus Nano Chosen. Which one are you going to choose? You know, they either got to go on the new cop shuttle back to the base or on the normal shuttle. And it was, it was really fun because we had people, you know, picking sides and uh, going around, like, dissing the other side. Obviously, you know, there wasn't murder by him. <laughs> hmm. So what is the best sort of player for your station and community? It's someone who isn't just going to run around spewing like loads of racism because that will get you banned. Someone who's willing to listen to the admins when we say stop, because you know, obviously that's for most servers. And someone who just, um, I think someone who's willing to role play and uh, do things differently, you know, they've played it enough so that they can go with different ideas because it gets a bit stale if you just do your job or just roll traitor and just kill everything. I think the creative players are quite good. You know, the people that will pray and ask for like special things to do or TC trade, for example. So what is your favorite event and why? Uh, my, the, my favorite event. Um, a while back, I ran a FTL event. So I set everyone up on a massive spaceship and they all went for a space adventure. So I would spawn in stations, ships for them to fight. It was pretty fun. Within 20 minutes, they'd raided a trading station, killed everybody aboard. So the police had to get called and it just started going into absolute chaos. So what is your least favorite event and why? Nations. People don't know how to play nations. They think, okay, it's Nations, it's an excuse to murder bone. Every time I've seen Nations, unless it's been by someone who's really good at events, it's been absolutely murder boning, trashing other people, like just using it <clears throat> as an excuse to kill, just needlessly. So what is your opinion on your most favorite role, your least favorite role, and why, when you do play Space Station 13? I think my favorite role is roboticist because you have a set job to do, but you're also not essential. So you can just run around and goof off on the station if you want, because people aren't always going to get bored. But when someone does want to, or when RD gives you some supplies for a mech, you know, you can make a horde of mechs or ED-209s. You can help any department do that kind of stuff. It's pretty good and good for learning the game. As for least favorite role, I'd probably say, like, probably psychiatrist. On our station, we have that. And they're, and they're an RP job when there's basically no RP. So there's very little for them to do, and it just gets really boring really fast unless you start, like, grey tiding. All right. So uh, many people on many servers ask this question. Why are our prayers never answered? Well, I mean, a lot of the time an admin's doing something else, either working through picking apart a badly written horrible ticket which has got loads of different people to check out and seeing somebody like ask for a cookie it's less of a priority or maybe it is really circumstantial like sometimes if you just ask and pray can i have a wizard please you know admins aren't generally gonna answer that i'd say if you want to get your prayers heard just like do something creative with it you know Either if your chaplain role plays God, but don't make it too convoluted because it's effort to read, or if you're a traitor, you know, ask some objectives or something like that. All right. Now you usually you did say that you do play Space Station Thirteen. On what servers, what jobs, and why? Mm. Well, I mainly play on the old station, and I, I do quite like playing security on there because. I know what I'm doing when it comes to space law, how to handle people. I'm not one of those guys that will get like disarmed, tased by an assistant and then just die. Uh, <clears throat> on other servers, you know, I, on FTL, I quite like playing munitions officer. I mean, I haven't played a lot there, but that's quite a fun job. I generally like jobs that are more laid back, like roboticist, but I think security can be really fun as well. 
Indeed. Now, as an admin, how often do you press buttons? Too much. I am a very button pushy admin. What I tend to do is, if something's going on in a round which can really spice it up, like I tend to act more of a, a game master than an admin or a DM, you know, and I try to make things interesting. And sometimes, you know, that leads to a lot of bush and pushing, but. You know, in general, unless it's for the player's benefit, I don't. You know, I wouldn't just spawn in like random things for no reason. But sometimes, you know, it'll spice up a round and I'll do that. What is the most rewarding part of being an admin? For me, I think it's when you do one of these spiced up rounds and people really enjoy it and people have fun on it. I think that is one of the most rewarding things. In your opinion, what is the very best map for Space Station 13 and why? I'd say probably Box Station. It's It may look ugly, but it's just laid out well. It's got plenty of room in the corridors, lots of dark corners for Antags to hide in and do their nefarious deeds. Um, it, it's pretty well optimized. Everyone knows it, and it's the most popular map. In your opinion, what is the best Antag role, at least for your station, and why? The best Antag role? Mm, I'd probably go with... Yeah, I'd probably go with the standard traitor. Because it's a role where you're not really allowed to murder bone massively. You can kill to get your objective done. But you can do... You know, you can do your objectives, you can cause chaos, you can make things interesting, but if you have something like, say, a wizard who just lives to murder bone, or new cops for that matter, you know, it's just a bit, oh, great, new cops, okay, start preparing, you know, prepare for like 10 minutes and then get gunned down. Yeah. If you could say one thing to new players on your station, to communicate one piece of advice, or to offer a greeting, what would it be? Read the rules really carefully, get to know them. I mean, I'm guilty of this myself on some other servers. You just assume that there's one generic rule set for all of Space Station 13, and maybe you'll have a glance over the rules to see if there's anything specific specific to add on to that. But sometimes you miss some of the really important core rules of a server, and that can get you into some serious trouble. I can imagine. I can imagine. So, the last question I ask everyone has been clown or mime. I've got to go with clown. I mean, mimes are all well and good, but, you know, the clown is just, he's the best. You can cause mischief. Everyone who plays clown is either robust or horribly unrobust. So it, they can be quite entertaining in that respect. With a mime, people that play mime are usually pretty robust and there's not really a gap. You tend to not see unrobust mimes unless they're talking mimes, which just need to be exterminated. I agree. Death to talking mimes. As we've reached the end of the interview, do you have anything you want to communicate to the Space Station 13 community? Shoutouts, apocalyptic warnings, requests, or so on. The time is yours. Mm, I, I think I'm good, but just um, if you're new and watching this, do like, try out our server. We're quite good to new people. We won't. We're not unforgiving in that respect. All right. I will let the masses know. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Bye.